Our skydive has been cancelled because there is a storm coming apparently. So we need to find ourselves a rainy day activity for today. Today the weather forecast is absolutely atrocious but we're still gonna find some awesome stuff to do in Auckland despite the rain. But first thing first, we need to grab some food. One bacon and cheese and one chicken and cheese please. Okay. We are at one of the best cheap eats in Auckland city centre which is number one pancakes and they do both sweet and savoury Korean style pancakes, usually around four or five dollars, it's super cheap. You can find this place pretty close to the Auckland Library, but if you want to find some more cheap eats around Auckland City Centre, look in the description below for an article. Mm. Yum. The perfect place to eat our super greasy and delicious pancakes is right outside our main activity for today, which is going to be the Auckland Art Gallery. It's a pretty nice place to be with a few water fountains around. Outside of the art gallery looks really awesome as well because of their super modern architecture. It's a really cool looking building. But once we've eaten up our food for the day, we are heading in. So I've got to be honest with you guys. I know nothing about modern art and I usually don't really understand modern art. There are some pieces that I actually I do really like, but there are some pieces which I'm getting really confused in front of. What is that? But in my opinion, that's truly what art is. Some of the art pieces can be truly moving, but some of them can leave you really confused. For example, this big patchwork of a lot of little bits and pieces. Laura really loved it, but I was left completely confused by it. But moving on, on the second level of the art gallery, there is some different kind of art, very much European and very much like castle-like. It's the kind of painting that you could find in Versailles and other kind of castle like that. It's really cool to find that right here in New Zealand and some of them are actually so impressive, they look super lifelike. We're moving on through the art gallery at quite a fast pace and we are passing through one of the biggest rooms of the art gallery with massive colorful stuff hanging in the ceiling. Those ones look really awesome. But we are making our way toward the modern art exhibition, which absolutely leaves me speechless. The Auckland Art Gallery has a seriously impressive wide variety of art. From seeing those traditional European style paintings, we then move on to the real ironic abstract art section. English girl in orange jacket, filming a violin. That's how I call it. Just to note guys though that the art gallery exhibitions are temporary that we're seeing at the moment so there'll probably be something different by the time you guys get here. That's water by Mother Nature. Pretty good. It's just like Harry Potter. The portraits move. Yes, as you can tell I am super impressed by this artwork known as performance portraits. That's pretty cool. But what else is cool is this whole building itself at the Auckland Art Gallery has loads of different levels, it has loads of different terraces, mezzanines, there's loads of different corridors where you can discover more art. You can even get a map at the front desk so you can find your way around this place. Just uh, came to the museum right here to learn more about contemporary art and um, I think we're too real right now for, for that just yet. But I think we will uh, we'll find a way to be less real and a bit more contemporary. With more like rounds and bubbly shapes. And um, more just about? one color. I'm talking about contemporary art, Laura. Do you want to have some contemporary art showcased in the art gallery? Yes, I want Robin's art showcased at the art gallery. <laughs> the Auckland Art Gallery it is coffee time because in Auckland it's pretty much always coffee time and there's plenty of cafes to choose from but for us we are heading to Chuft Coffee which is actually pretty hard to find it's down a little alley just off High Street and like all the hipster coffee places it's very well hidden if you are a foodie type of travelers, you will want to spend some time in Auckland. This is definitely the one place in New Zealand where you're gonna have so many different food experience in the town Plus, on top of that, there is a huge coffee culture in New Zealand. They actually even give some different names to different coffees compared to what you will find in Northern America or in Europe. 
For example, the flat white is typically the one New Zealand coffee that you will find almost everywhere. As for me, I definitely have a sweet tooth and so I'm always going for the hot chocolate. Always super sweet, always super rich, is always a treat. So when we go into the art gallery, 